Hi, my name is Dean Paul Denniston, and today we'll be assembling our Razer Flash Rider 360. This is a pretty easy process. It should take you approximately 15 minutes from start to finish. Now let's open it up and see what's in the box. The first thing we have is our seat. Next, we have our handlebars. We have our wheel. We've got the frame of the product. The other half of the frame and the back wheels. The spark bar. The spark bar handle. And lastly, the instruction manual and the tools we will need for the assembly. The included tools are a 10 and 13 millimeter double sided wrench and two 5 millimeter Allen wrenches. This process can be completed in five easy steps. Step one, attaching the frame. Step two, attaching the spark bar. Step three, attaching the front fork. Step four, attaching the front wheel. And step five, attaching the seat. Now before we begin, make sure you have adequate space to assemble the product. We'll start by getting rid of this box. And now let's jump on into step one, assembling our frame. Here we have the two pieces of our frame. The first thing we're gonna do is remove the plastic cap. To do this, we're gonna take our two five millimeter Allen wrenches, insert one into the bolt on top, one into the bolt part on the bottom, and loosen. Once it's loose, separate the bolt, and then slide the plastic cap out. And you can just throw this away. Next, we need to remove this bolt in the middle of the frame. Take the same five millimeter Allen wrench, insert it on top, and with the other five millimeter on the bottom, and then loosen. With the bolt out, slide the two pieces of the frame together. The back side goes over and insert it into the front. And take the two bolts you removed and put them back in. And then thread up from the bottom. And again with the same 5mm Allen wrenches, tighten those bolts down. Now that those are tight, that concludes step one, attaching the frame. And now on to step two, attaching the spark bar. Here we have the two pieces of the spark bar, the handle and the bar itself. The first thing we're gonna do is remove the bolts along the spark bar. To do this, take your 10 millimeter open end wrench and place it on the nut, and your five millimeter Allen wrench and place it on the bolt and loosen. And do the same with the other two. Now that all three bolts are removed, slide the spark bar through the spring mechanism. And then take the handle and attach it to the spark bar. Slide the bolts through the holes in the handle. Attach the washer, followed by the lock washer. followed by the nut. Now using your 10 millimeter open end and your five millimeter Allen wrench, tighten them down. Now align the hole in the spark bar with the hole in the spring mechanism and take your last bolt and slide it through the hole. And on the other side, attach the nut. And with your same five millimeter Allen wrench, tighten the bolt down. With the bolt secure, that concludes step two, attaching our spark bar. And now on to step three, attaching our fork. The first thing we're gonna do is remove the bolt and nut from our fork. Take your 13 millimeter open end, put it on the nut on the bottom, and then using your same five millimeter Allen wrench, Insert it on top and loosen. 
slide the bolt out through the top and now attach the fork to the frame. Just slide it on in there. Take the bolt and slide it all the way through. And now thread the nut onto the bottom. With your 13 millimeter open end wrench and your five millimeter Allen wrench, tighten it down. And that concludes step three, attaching the fork. And now on to step four, attaching the front wheel. In order to attach our front wheel, we have to first remove the four bolts and nuts along the front forks. Using our 10 millimeter open end wrench and our five millimeter Allen wrench, let's remove all four. Now before we attach the wheel, look along the rim for the little letter F followed by an arrow. You want to make sure that arrow is pointed forward. If it's not, spin the wheel till it is. Now put the wheel under the fork and using the bracket, slide the bracket into the fork. And do the same on the other side. Now we can use the bolts to attach it and make it secure. Insert the bolts one by one through the back. Followed by the washer, the lock washer, and the nut. And now do the same for the other side. Now take your 10 millimeter open end wrench and your five millimeter Allen wrench and tighten them down. And the same for the other side. Once those are tight, that concludes step four, attaching our front wheel. And now into step five, attaching our seat. Before we can put the seat on, we gotta remove these four bolts. Take your two five millimeter Allen wrenches and remove the bolts. One on top, one on bottom, and loosen. Now take your seat. Set it on and line up the holes. Now insert the four bolts from the top and then thread up from the bottom. Take your two five millimeter Allen wrenches and tighten these bolts down. One on top, one on bottom and tighten. Once the bolts are secure, that concludes step five, attaching our seat. And now our Razor Flash Rider 360 is assembled. I hope you found this video helpful and informative, but if you are still having any troubles or complications, please feel free to visit the customer support section on razor.com. Bye bye, butterfly.